Welcome to this video where I will show you how to integrate AWeber with eJunkie. I had a, re a friend request that I show her this, so I thought it would be helpful for other people as well. The first thing you want to do is go ahead to your eJunkie.com and you want to find the Help button and do a search for AWeber because there is good documentation on how to do this. Click on the first link and you'll see that there's a list of instructions here. You just want the one that talks about AWeber, which is highlighted for us since we searched for it. Okay, and it tells us to go to our AWeber account. So go ahead and do that, aweber.com, and log in. Go ahead and select the list you want to integrate into eJunkie. Go back to your instructions over at eJunkie.com and it tells us to click the list settings and the parser. So click on my lists and find email parser. This is over at AWeber. It'll then give you a list of shopping carts that you can integrate. Go ahead and find eJunkie and select it. Mine is already selected. Just click it and it will select. And everything should be ready to go from AWeber's end. Go back to your eJunkie instructions and it tells us it gives us a couple of options. You can either set up your entire account to go to one list or you can choose separate products to go to separate lists. So assuming that most people will have different products that they may want on separate lists, I'll go through how to do it on a product by product basis. So you need to go over to eJunkie and log in to your admin area. I am already logged in. and click on edit products. You can also do this when you add a new product but mine is already in there. Go ahead and find the product and click edit. And what you're looking for is the line that says send transaction data to a URL and select it. Then you'll click Next, and you want to find the line that says Payment Variable Information URL. And you'll see that there is a link in there. Yours might be blank, and go back to your eJunkie instructions and copy and paste the link in Step 3. So copy that and paste it right in there. Mine is already pasted in. The only thing you'll need to change is the address of your list. And to find that, go to eJunkie, or excuse me, go to AWeber, minus Power Ghost Write. So whatever your list is called will be that at aweber.com. And then click Next and Submit, and it will all be done all ready for you, all ready to go when someone purchases from your eJunkie account. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.